there's been lots of talk about one of the big changes to Photoshop CC 2019, which is you don't have to hold down the shift key when you're transforming something, but that's actually not true, depending on the situation, because there actually is a circumstance where you might still want to hold down the shift key. I'm Dave Cross, and I'd like to show you what I found was the confusing thing that people were running into about this whole holding down the shift key idea. So what it comes down to is this, if you have a layer that by nature probably should be proportional, like a type layer or a logo or something like that, that in those circumstances, you don't have to hold on the shift key. But there is a situation, like I said, where you might want to. So let's take a look here. I have my type layer and I hit free transform. Sure enough, I don't have to hold down the shift key to hold the proportions. If I want it to be non-proportional for some reason, which I probably wouldn't with type, but anyway, I could, that's when I do hold down the shift key. Same thing applies with a pixel base layer. Here I, here I just selection of a marquee selection. I filled it with a color and then I deselected. Now when I hit free transform, it's the same idea. It's almost like this is my quote unquote logo. So I want it to be proportional most of the time, therefore no shift key. If I want it to be non-proportional, I do hold down the shift key. Here's where things change, however. This is a shape layer. I took my shape tool and I had the option to make it a shape. And if I hit free transform with no shift key held down, oh, look at that, it's non-proportional. So if you have made a shape layer and you want it to keep proportional, then you do have to hold down the shift key. So that means, unfortunately, we can't just across the board say, hey, no shift key is necessary because it does depend on the situation. Now where it gets perhaps even more confusing is in this kind of circumstance. Let me get rid of those two layers and go to my shape tool let's go to the custom shape tool and just pick I'll just use that one I already have and I currently have it set to shape so in this case I want to hold down the shift key to make my shape proportional now I'm going to add a blank layer and change it to pixels and drag out basically the same shape now we have to look at the two layers and see the difference one is a shape layer one is a pixel based layer so the same thing applies is that free transform on a shape layer means no shift key means no proportion. Whereas on a pixel base layer, even though it started life as the shape tool, it was created as pixels, no shift key is required to keep proportion. Now the other thing that's really important to note, and this is a thing I've seen catch people, I've actually seen comments in Facebook groups saying that it doesn't work properly or it's a bug or something else, and that's not the case is you've always been able to hold down the command or control key to click on the corner of the transformation box and move just that one corner independently. Now you still can, but you have to put on your thinking cap about the way the sh new shift key works. So if I hold down the command or control key, yes, I can move this one corner, but it's not letting me move it really freely. It's see how it's kind of snapping to, it's almost like the shift key is held down because in a sense, it's almost like the shift key is on by default. So if I want to be able to take this corner and move it anywhere I want, I have to hold down not only the command or control key, but also the shift key. And now I can move this anywhere that I want. And I use this all the time for things like pasting into when you put a photo inside a computer monitor and you want to move each corner just to the right place. Now you'd have to think about holding down not only the command or control key, but also the shift key. So that applies to any combination. I often want to scale from the center outwards, so I'll hold down Option or Alt to scale from the center outwards. Then on top of that, you have to think about should I hold down the Shift key or not, which will depend on whether you want it proportional and if it's a shape layer or not. So again, I, I wanted to do this quick video to, to clarify it a little bit because it's not quite as simple to be able to say the Shift key is no longer required because it really does depend on the situation. I hope that helps you. My name is Dave Cross. Thanks for watching.